On today's stream, I watched even more of YouTube's scariest ghost sighting videos. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I regularly watch ghost sighting videos over on my Twitch. There's this channel, BizarreBub, that compiles them all into neat little compilations where we try and figure out which ones look real, which ones look fake, and which ones just downright creep us out. Honestly, if you're into the paranormal, it's a lot of fun. I myself am a bit of a skeptic, but I've had some weird ghost experiences, some of which I've captured on stream. So honestly, I don't know what to think anymore. So join me in my road to figuring out whether ghosts are real or not. Oh, and for a little bit of fun this time, we reacted to a parody ghost hunting video as well, just for a little bit of a laugh. But either way, if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. As I said earlier, I watch plenty of this kind of stuff over on my Twitch. So if for whatever reason you can't catch those streams live, sub to this channel so you never ever miss them here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. Crazy hamburger! Crazy hamburger! That's me if I was eating a hamburger that was, you know, made by the Joker, I guess. Either way. Three months, let's go. Let's go. Thanks so much. Either way. Let's start watching this lovely video. A mother's I'm not mother. stalling! Someone said, why are you stalling? I'm not. We're watching it. Oh, yeah, by the way, just off the bat, before we even start this one, I was about to say we're going to start. Apparently, think of this up. Before we even start with this one, can I just fucking say... No wonder your house is haunted. You've got two fucking human-sized mannequins just chilling in the living room. People who have decorations like that deserve to be haunted, I think. Like, it, like you deserve to feel scared in your home having creepy shit like that in the fucking house. Off the bat. Regardless of what happens to this woman, let me just say, off the bat, it's deserved. The, don't have creepy shit in your house if you don't want it haunted. Same as that, that place we went with Sam and Colby. It was just decorated creepily. I'm like, you can have a normal, like, nice-looking house and still be haunted, man. You don't have to make it look creepy on top of it all. Fuck. Okay, either way. At home, watching TV, That's a bit something pretty and terrifying is caught on camera. The following video comes from Daniel Thompson, who lives happily with his mother in a three-story house that is filled with lots of antiques oh! and other priceless items. That it's her fucking fault! Crashing a car but can't stop that Don't Jack do that! Grind. I hope you're not drunk. You drunk crashes give us drunk drivers a bad name. Uh, since you're a boxer now, I sometimes get haunted. Are you going to go Conor McGregor mode on the next ghost? Hello. Conor McGregor isn't a boxer. He's a, he does the UFC and he's also just a bit of a, like a twat. You ever noticed that? He's just a bit of a prick. Also, yeah, that's Uncle Nasty, I think. That all like, goosebumps. It's my favorite Lovejoy song. Um, uh, yo Mama, yo, yo Mama, Yo Mama Stupid. It's an unreleased track. Thank you for the three pounds. Sorry, I keep getting donuts. I will watch the video in a second. Uh, I've noticed people mentioning Everyman Hybrid for reactions. It's one of my favorite series, but I will say that it's super complicated. The runtime is 22 hours. I'd recommend watching the Everyman Hybrid Compete compilation playlist or Nightmines vid. I've been tempted to watch Everyman Hybrid, but uh, I, it doesn't look as intriguing as Marble Hornets, but we might give it a watch. Either way. They're fairly Let's watch to say the funny ghost video. From expensive artifacts bought overseas. Okay, okay. Suit of armor goes crazy. Suit of armor like goes hard. That, that, that is anywhere that's else. cool. Thank you for Daniel's the prime. Has been collecting many antiquities ever since he was a child. Ooh, antiquities! That's a good However, word. Out of all the items in this house, two in particular scare him the most: a porcelain doll that is placed at the front entrance of the house. Yeah, reasonable. House that, for some reason, yeah, let me turn on the subs. Makes him feel extremely uneasy. The dollhouse, according what? to Daniel, does something very strange. That doesn't make any sense. Here's I don't get that. Of him talking about. I don't get the dollhouse one. You know, I get being scared of a doll because it's kind of like personified. It like looks like a person, right? And it has eyes and shit. And you're like, you can like, it's like Chucky and shit. Like you can feasibly understand that thing like coming to life and being fucking scary and evil. What, what do you think this dollhouse is? Monster house? It's like a mini version of Monster House. It, it like has like a little carpet tongue. And it's like, I'm a, I'm a big lady who was crushed in concrete. Rah, monster house. Is that what he thinks? Doubt it. I don't know how to explain it uh the only thing i can say that has happened with it is sometimes when i walk by or like i'm i go the bathroom's back there and i walk through and i hear like tapping coming from this room it's like uh okay but what does that have to do with the dollhouse like, um... does he just get a bad vibe from it 
tapping kept happening and I came over and I was trying to figure out like where it was coming from but it was coming from this dollhouse and I don't know where and it hasn't done it since Okay. Daniel thinks that the tapping noises are coming from inside. Trust your vibes. Literally, this guy, I, I genuinely believe his sort of like justification for this dollhouse being uh, haunted is there was a weird noise and this house gives me bad vibes, so I think it's this house. <laughs> He's trapped in there. There's a little guy in there. He's like tapping. He's like, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> He's like this. He's like, um... He's like that. Inside the dollhouse, which is in the room that his sister used to be in, for this reason, he's been. She's trapped. She's trapped in there. That's why she's not in there anymore. She he trapped the sister in the in the dollhouse. And to hopefully find the source, but then one day, while passing by the room, this happens. It's what? late at night when Daniel captures this with his iPhone, as we can tell from the image. That's a noise, yeah. It's the sister. She's trying to get out of the dollhouse. Those are the tapping noises I was talking about. It's actually rather loud. It is loud. I've heard like weird tapping before, and it was very loud. It scared the fuck out of me, I'll be honest. Oh, still going. Is it the house? I don't think it sounds like it's this at all. Oh, wait. Mm, it does sound close. Where is this coming from? <laughs> He's like, it's like knocking at the door, so he lets the little ghost in. <laughs> he like lets the little ghost in. It's like knocking. He really needs to pee real bad. It's like a little. So it's like a tiny little ghost. Like, oh, I really need to pee. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I need to pee. <laughs> tiny little fucking ghost. If it stops knocking, that's hilarious. Hello. <laughs> you see the little toilet seat lift up. Didn't, wait, did it do it again? Oh, it did it again. <laughs> Mysteriously, the source of the tapping sounds can't be found anywhere. Even the three knocks that were heard on the small door are a mystery. <laughs> With <laughs> Just the idea of a little ghost, like, knocking at a little door. <laughs> it's fucking killing me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's that funny. Where they came from, Daniel continues to record the dollhouse. Yeah. But only a day later, something happens that chills Daniel to his core. Um, to his Take a core? His core? Uh, I think the little rocking horse is going to move, I think. This little guy here. Oh, never mind. Oh! Oh, it did. It did move. It did move. Could be fake. Oh! Never mind, creepy dollhouse. Mm. Somehow, the miniature figurines move on their own as though someone or something was playing with them. As if the tapping noises weren't enough to spook Daniel, <laughs> this happens. <laughs> Just repeated fucking sh repeatedly showing the clip of him opening the little door kills me. Like the idea that he like was letting the little ghost in. Understandably, he had no words when he saw this video. He began to think that his mom may have brought either a cursed or haunted item into their house. 
Not sure what to make of it. Daniel does- Curious how they only move on a static camera. Very good point. Very good point. It, it, yeah, it's very convenient that when he's going around trying to film it, nothing moves. But when, when it's a static camera, it does. Though, one would argue the ghost only did it because he didn't, it, he didn't know Daniel was there. And like, there's a ghost explanation, but also I, I agree with the chat. Like, it's didn't mention very convenient. Or post any more footage of the dollhouse. But then, two nights later, something happens that impels him to share the following footage. Uh, impels? It's around 2.30 in the Impels? Bro, bro's using some linguistics on this video. He said antiquities, and now he said impels? Isn't this the same as compel? I've never heard that word before. Compel? It's the same word, right? A sense... Okay. Force or oblige someone to do something. An impel is drive, force, or urge someone to do something. So what's the difference? I've just never heard the word impel before. Synonyms. Bro really like thought compelling. He's like, no, I need a synonym. You know what? Sorry, we'll carry on. I just I've never heard the word Morning before. When this is captured. What? Ooh. Oh, he's upgraded. He's at the big door now. Yippee. Cat Jam Sam, thank you for the tier one. Porch camera. Ain't nobody at the big door! Let- Hey, let that ghost in! He ain't little no more. He's big now. He's grown up. Let him in. He's in the crib now. He's in the house. I don't know why I said crib. MTV rubbed off on me. <laughs> MTV cribs rubbed off. So he just stares at the- <laughs> I love this guy's reaction. He just stares at the doll like a fucking ape. He's just like- <laughs> Did you do this? <laughs> It's like not the stare, it's the posture. He like literally looks like a fucking orangutan that's like intrigued. Like you know like when you see a monkey intrigued by something, he's like <laughs> and dangling his arms. It's funny. That's a funny one, I like that. Ugh, anyway. Carry on. <laughs> I swore I saw the doll blinking, had to take a closer look. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I was loud. I've been there. I've had that happen, though. I've had that happen, like, where I've been in, like, a room, and then something's knocked really loud behind me. It's fucking scary, to be fair. I feel like knocks and movement are the most scary. Like, you can have a ghost do, like, you can have it talk over a spirit box and shit, but I feel like our, our like, fucking monkey brains, like, have, have came to understand that technology can do things by itself. And, like, on an animalistic level, I think we're slowly beginning to, like, just accept that technology will make noises and stuff. But, like, doors don't knock by themselves and stuff. And, like, that just may And that's, like, a very real presence. Like, all of a sudden, it isn't something... You know, like, your computer can shout... Someone can shout at you over a computer and, you, you know, you don't feel scared. But, like, when something goes, knock in real life as if it's there, it's like, you know? So I completely get that. It's a very scary experience. He, he reacted very legitimately. The sound of that. knocking can be heard at the door. But strangely, the footage from outside shows no one at the entrance. It does. Who, it's... or even what, had been knocking at the door. I don't know, mate. I, I don't What's know. even more strange about this is that the same number of knocks were heard in the face. dollhouse video. Alicia, thank you for the tier one. Oh. No. Fearing that the dollhouse might have something to do with this, Daniel places the miniature set inside his garage. He continues- And puts a creepy baby head on it? Like, that's gonna make things better? Th this family are insane. Insane family, bro. Record it. Just Chong in case Lu, the knocking you, continues. Three months. Let's if go does, saluting face, saluting face. If it does, then he'll know for sure face. the knocking came from the set itself, 
and not from the room it was in. Fast forward to a day later, and nothing happens. Oh. The next video Daniel uploads has nothing to do with the strange activity in his house. Instead, it's a video of him recording his workplace. Nothing is mentioned. He works at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria? What in the FNAF? <laughs> You're telling me the guy that lives in the creepy house works at FNAF? No fucking wonder, it's all come for- It's just creepy, he just- he just- he's just a creepy dude! He got possessed by one of the fucking animatronics! Instead, it's a video of him recording his workplace. Nothing is mentioned about the previous incidents, or any new activity that's been captured. What? It seems that whatever had been happening in his house has stopped. But then, what? out of nowhere, Oh, wait, so you're telling me because he posted a normal ass TikTok, you're like, oh, guess it's over. It's like, no, he, he like uh, the possibility of him having a life outside of the ghost thing is just impossible. Within a couple Don't be hours silly. In this video, Daniel receives a message from his mom. It's a video he didn't of do the dishes. footage taken from inside their living room. We can see Daniel's mom watching TV when suddenly she is. this happens. She starts fucking flying or some shit. She like floats. Yeah, you'd be scared. The sound of bare feet running towards Daniel's mom can be heard on camera. <laughs> Why do you have to stress they were bare? <laughs> Why do you have to stress that like that the ghost had his dogs out? He <laughs> was like, the sound of bare feet. Why do you know the sound of bare feet so well? Feeling very spooked, she looks around, but can't find anything that could explain the running footsteps. It was at this point that both Daniel and his mom were convinced that something is haunting them. Mm. Although already convinced, it seems that it didn't stop the strange activity from continuing. Oh my god, how much and happened here? Yeah. Later, Daniel looks over at the footage caught inside the garage and sees this. Jesus Around the same fuck. time the footsteps are caught on camera, this happened. The doll gets up, starts grittying. Okay. Oh, yeah. Creepy. Creepy indeed. That's hard to fake. I'll give him that. It's very hard to fake. Unless you do it with editing. And again, it's a static camera, so it isn't too hard to edit, but... This one is weird. Both the tapping sounds and the doll's eyes are no doubt creepy. Yet some viewers believe that the doll is actually mechanical and was either malfunctioning or glitching during this time. This notion, however, is put to rest as a video from Daniel shows that the- <laughs> As he just pulls the fucker apart, Jesus! My God, Daniel! Cal, look at the 11 months. Doll is entirely hollow from inside. Bro, just fucking ruined that thing. Everyone's like, you're faking your videos. He's like, no! When he tears a fucking baby doll in half, just to prove it. Given this proof, viewers believe that something is haunting both Daniel and his mom. Well, fuck me. Whether or not that's so, I'll let you come up with your own conclusion. Creepy fucking footage. Is something haunting this house? Or is something else happening? It's weird. Some of this is hard to fake, and their reactions seem quite genuine. So I'm I'm leaning towards perhaps that this this isn't isn't faked, you know. Also, though, again, this is the first time I've reacted to anything like this since my Sam and Colby experience, and there was some, I saw some shit, man, and I'm definitely more I, I'm less skeptical nowadays. Here, feel yeah. free to let me know what you think. This one doesn't feel as real, like because I feel like it's nothing worse than remember that like Indian family we watched. Um. But then it, it, it was kind of well done. But then, like the fucking, the the footsteps were the same footsteps three times in a row. It's like the same audio bite. Bro, took half the video over half. It's fucking crazy. A woman is woken up late at night by her dog, 
who is barking non-stop at something outside her house. Mm. Feeling very unsettled by her dog's behavior, she takes- I find it so funny that whenever he says someone films something, he just like pulls up a picture of like a, a, a camera or a phone to show us like, three this is what you film things face. on. He always gets me. Thank you so much for the three months, man. ...at her phone and records the following video. What she sees leaves her in total shock. It's four in the morning and my dog wouldn't stop barking, walking, barking when I came out. Call this. Wait, what? I looked away for a second. Sorry. Her dog's behavior. She takes out her phone and records the following video. What she sees leaves her in total shock. Makes her hair stand on end. Okay, so what are we watching? Four in the morning, my dog wasn't so welcome. I came out, I call this. Okay, clothes billowing in the wind. All right. Seemingly fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, it looks like a, like a person. Although it's hard to see at first, there seems to be a shadow-like figure standing completely still while seemingly observing the woman who shakes in fear at the sight of this mysterious being. Immensely terrified, the woman backs away slowly, hoping the shadowy figure doesn't move any closer to the like, property. I think it's I think, safe to say that the strange presence has placed both her and her dog on high alert, but it would be the following night that places them in a state of complete terror. It could be a dude. I mean, like, it definitely is weird that when she shone the light on it, it didn't seem to get any, like, brighter. But if it's a dude dressed all in black, like, you know, like, say he's got his back to her or whatever, like, say he's got a hood up and his back to her, then, like, that isn't crazy, you know? What do I think the best part of a cheesecake is? The cheese. Well, what, what's... What's the what's the cheese what's the bit of the top of the cheesecake? Sorry, I've got a text. It just says, "What do you think the best part of a cheesecake is?" Uh, the, the, the 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 bit not not the biscuit, the other bit. What what's it called? Thank you for the gift of sub, man. Appreciate it. Well, che is it cheese? Cream cheese? I'm just gonna put the cheese bit. Like not the base. The bit that isn't base. I don't know if it's actually cheese. Hold on, chat. Don't know why I got asked that, but hey, man. What happens next is beyond strange. <laughs> There's a dog. Hola. Hola. Guys, my girlfriend thinks the, the the base of the cheesecake is the best instead of the cheese. The base is good, but that'd just be biscuits. It's just biscuits. She's right. That's just crushed up biscuits. It's just crushed up Biscuits. Hold on, I need, to, I need to settle this. If you want to eat crushed biscuits, just eat those. No need to have a cheesecake. You know what I mean? Just crush up some biscuits, eat it. You know? Why are you speaking like that? Because I'm texting it as I'm saying it. I would if they sold just the base. They do. It's called biscuits. Crush them up. <laughs> it's just biscuits, man. I like it when they come pre-chewed. Oh, I'm going to close my phone now. That doesn't elicit a response. I, I can't sit there and argue about her pre-chewed. You see, this is see this is what I mean. Sometimes you can't argue with people. 
It's the cheese. Let's just carry on. This lady so, yeah. calls out to dog. So, yeah, so we. What the fuck? What the fuck? Nada. What the fuck? Sauce, Jack. I need to know you know. A pair of long, skinny fingers. Oh, what was it say? Just so, like sauce, Jack. Sauce is fine. What the fuck? Emerge from underneath the staircase. But creepiest of all is the complexion of this mysterious being. It's pale skin tone. It's white? What? I think the creepiest bit of all is it's creepy fucking hands emerging from the bottom of the stairs and not the fact that it's white. Then my guy just went the scariest part of all. It was white. What do you mean? What? <laughs> oh, and it's similar to that of a corpse that was freshly buried. Oh. Without delay, the woman runs down the staircase at full speed, hoping to capture whatever this was. You already think of the two on arriving down. Nothing is seen below the stairs. Whatever had been there had seemingly disappeared. Whether a ghost or some paranormal. I must entity, admit, that is really fucking creepy, but she doesn't show absolutely remains shrouded in mystery. She doesn't show anything under the stairs. The P arriving down runs down this tone is similar to Wait, let me let me show it again. Like those fucking creepy hands show up, right? Which is wild, by the way. Well edited if it's edited. Fucking well acted out if it's a dude. Whatever, you're right? Looks like there's some eyes at the bottom there. That might be the dog running. But she doesn't show, like, right right at the bottom of the stairs. Like, you know if the guy, like, for example, right? So the hands are up. If he then snuck backwards right underneath this bottom bit of the stairs here, we wouldn't see him. Say, for example, is what I'm thinking. The reason I'm more skeptical with this one, right, is because I'm always skeptical when things seem like absolutely too good to be true. Like, like not too good, well, too bad in this instance, but like, you're telling me, right, because like, people have had weird ghost experiences, but they usually have them in isolation. Like, even when, like, like you know, you have like one big experience, right? Maybe once in a blue moon. But this lady has seen a whole ass a shadow figure. Immensely like, a, a, like quite a distinct shadow figure. And then the same lady has seen these creepy fucking hands. I'm like, no, that is like a two once in a lifetime experiences twice. And you caught them both on camera. Like that's insane. But I'm also going to argue that I think they're not the easiest to fit. The first one's quite easy, but this one's quite... This, it's hard to do with editing. I think you would have to do it with an actor. I think they've acted the hands out really well, but then I guess they have to hide under the stairs. But I wouldn't argue that that's particularly easy. I don't know. I just, you know what I mean? I just, I'm always a little bit skeptical when it comes to clips like this. But I must admit, fucking scary, like, like there's, you know. Seemingly disappeared. Scary. Scary. I, I, I got nothing more to say. Chungle, thank you for the gift of sub. But that's like, like, I don't know. Whether she ran towards it. Double it and give it to the next person. Based. Just move the fuck out. Also, yeah, I think I think if I saw something that distinct, I'm moving house. But equally, like, a lot of people say that. It, it, moving house is, is harder than it, you know, financially. And it, it's quite hard to move house sometimes, you know? Not everyone could afford Whether it. Whether a ghost or some paranormal entity had been caught on camera remained shrouded in mystery. Shroud?! That is weird though. It's a weird clip. That's, that is a very interesting clip. I kind of hope it's fake for the sake of like, if shit like that exists, that's terrifying. You know, I kind of hope it's fake in a way. Oh, creepy clip. This was done on Valentine's Day. No, so very little context is given, but it doesn't take much to figure out what's going on in the video. Okay. Something very strange is caught on camera. The clip itself shows footage of a dog's cage. It's assumed the owner had bought the camera to watch their dog whenever they're away from home. On one occasion, mm -hmm. the owner was looking over at the security camera to see what their dog was up to. But to their shock, they saw what may just be a reason for why they should be concerned for the safety of their dog. A ghoul. A this ghoul was they saw. toying with their hound. Oh, he's a cute little guy.
<laughs> right from the start, we can see the dog looking at something that can't be seen on camera. Then strangely, without a moment's notice, the dog is seemingly thrown back as though something had struck them. No, it's not. If a dog gets like a little bit of dust on its nose, it does that. It goes, like, oh, 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 I can't get this off. Like dogs do that, you know? They, they, back, they fucking backpedal like when... Oh no. It looks reversed. Also, absolutely, it, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. That definitely could be reversed. We can see the dog looking at something that can't be seen on camera. Then strangely, without a moment's notice, the dog is seemingly thrown back as though something had struck them. But strangest of all is the door opening on its own immediately afterward as though someone or something had went inside. But like always, what do you think? Is this video just given? Again. But it doesn't if take there much was to a demon in my house, I would burn it down and move to Mars. Well, that no, that's not feasible, is it? Because fucking Elon Musk is too busy tweeting. So no, it's weird though. Going on in the video, something very strange is. Yeah, I don't know. Dogs like the door opening's a bit weird, but they're, they're like you get a weird draft or something, and fucking doors open. Like that's not biz that bizarre. And like the dog probably just got a bit of dust on its nose. You know, I just, I really don't think like... Caught on camera, the clip itself shows footage of a dog's cage yeah, yeah, on yeah. occasion. No, I, I get it, I get it. They saw... This is what they saw. Let's just watch it one more time. I'm just not convinced it's not reversed. Can you like reverse YouTube video? Can you play them in reverse? Uh, hold on. Let's see if you can play YouTube video in. I found a video reverser on YouTube. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, eh? You know what? I want to watch it in reverse. I want to watch it in reverse. I said, this is like an editing thing. What? I just put in re reverse video. What? This isn't at all what I wanted to. This isn't at all what I did. Okay. Okay. The right hand sidebar. Ah, reverse. I found the reverse button. All right, let's give this a go. Let's watch it in reverse. Let's see. All right, let's really get to the bottom of this one. You know? Loading. How long does it take to load? If it takes too long, I'm going to get pissed. I just want to freaking watch it in reverse. Still going. It's still... My God. It takes a really long time. How really long? No dog moves like that unless it's possessed. No, I get a little bit of dust on its nose. I've seen dogs do that. Oh, my God. Bizarre Bub's paying him off. He's paying off the reverse video, people. Fine, let's trim the video. Uh, trim. No. Can I reverse it now, please? Please? Come on, man! Alright, literally that much. Can I reverse it now? 
It's a 14 second lap. What video editor is this? Just some fucking online one that has the reverse feature built in, so it saves me having to download the video. Mm. A lot of apple juice sediment in there. The YouTuber doesn't own editing software. I do! But I don't want to download the video and boot it, but this is- Oh, this is dumb. I, you know, I don't even care. I don't even care enough about these fucking ghosts to know. I- well, Whatever, the, I don't believe the dog one. Let's just put it that way. I don't believe it. I don't think it's real. Camera. I don't think it's really ghosts. Ghost Let's just put it that way. Like Fuck, I can't be arsed. And in the next I'm mad now. I'm mad now because you mocked me. To scary videos 444 at gmail.com. Surely you make it like 666 or something, said, right? Let's get back to the video. This next video comes from a bus driver in Singapore who had no idea that his day would start off with a very spooky encounter. It's 7 in the morning somewhere in Singapore when the driver of a large double-decker bus checks the security cameras of both decks inside the vehicle. On his dashboard, we can see live footage of what looks to be an empty I don't morning know. somewhere no idea that his day would start this Sorry, next video bad. comes from a bus driver in Singapore who had no idea that his day would start off with a very spooky encounter. Okay. It's 7 in the morning somewhere in Singapore when the driver of somewhere. a large double-decker bus checks the security cameras of both decks inside the vehicle. On his dashboard, we can see live footage of what looks to be an empty bus. But mm -hmm. upon looking closely, something pretty unnerving is seen on camera. Take a look. What? Pagi dah buat seram lah Kau tengok ni eh Okay What am I looking at? Okay kat atas ni ada orang kan Is that supposed to be a man? Pagi dah buat seram lah Habis boleh ada orang kat atas kan Sial kan, tak ada orang kan Berderau darah aku lah, celaka betul lah Aku puas jeritkan dia suruh turun tadi kat, kat, kat tempat turun orang Nak bawa lah ke sini Eh, pokemak okay, betul lah uh, As if seeing someone in what is I'm not convinced by that, he could have pulled up some old footage Also bro Holy fucking 240p, like I can't tell what that is Supposed to be an empty bus wasn't creepy enough the bus driver checks around and finds no one in sight. It appears that whoever or whatever was seen on camera had simply vanished. If no one had been inside the bus, then who or what was this? On Mark, no one had Wait, whoever yeah, it, the bus. Also, are we ignoring the fucking obvious like face here? Oh wait, no, that's not a face. You see what I mean though? It's so hard to fucking make anything out. was this I oh, don't know I'm just not too convinced by that on March 6 of 2023 a reddit user had taken a photo of his <laughs> it's fine it's so fun it's so fun kitchen late at night the reddit user claims that over the last couple of years he's been hearing mysterious noises coming from his apartment <laughs> for the longest time he's been trying to figure out the source of these noises but then one night, while being in his living room, he takes a photo of his kitchen and captures this. Alright. Fuck off. Fuck off. It was only after enhancing the photo that he was able to see what looks to be a tall figure standing in his kitchen. He believes that whoever this is, is the person responsible for the strange- Oh, it looks more like a dude when you look at it like this. Yeah, like that's his beard, that's his long hair. Or, you know, Je JESUS! Jesus came back to like, check on my guy. Little do we know that actually Redditors are the true, you know, they're, they're the real, like, worthy, you know, they're, they're the true sort of holy ones among us. Sus. And, uh, Jesus came to fucking look after him. Jesus is back. It's just, it's just fucking Photoshop though, isn't it? Uh, let's be for real for a second. Let's like, you know. Let's just be for real. It's Photoshop, isn't it? It's just obviously Photoshop. It captures this.
It was only after enhancing the photo that he was able to see what looks to be a tall figure standing in his kitchen. Yeah, I'm just not convinced, He believes man. that whoever this is, is the person responsible for the strange noises he would hear to be very tall when compared normal. Whatever this is, appears to have no eyes and seems to be very tall when comparing it to the fridge on the side. But it only gets creepier because only a few days later, what? the Reddit More? user had posted a video of another strange occurrence. Oh, never left mind. camera recording overnight where the figure was spotted and captured this. Okay, well now I'm intrigued because it's a video. I thought it was just Photoshop. Okay, it's slowed down to fuck, clearly. Why is he having like a little funny little dance? You, may, you ever seen that interview where like Charles Manson just starts fucking dancing like a fucking lunatic? It literally looks like that video, like super important, like uh, Charles Manson dance. Well, you ever seen it? Like Charles Manson has like a fucking little little boogie. I am a child. Ever had a make people want to? Just halfway through a fucking interview, right? This this like fucking murderer just does this. Well, he didn't murder anyone, but he had people murder. But either way. Whatever it is you're a part of. Just looks like this fucking video of him, like, boogieing. You're telling me he didn't just have the like, fucking ghost of Charles Manson in his house boogieing? Mostly, you can see what looks to be a figure moving in the dark. But it's only after brightening the footage that the video becomes even more scary. This mysterious figure might just be the same person or thing caught in the previous photo. Now it could be that a squatter is hiding inside his apartment, but then again, some viewers think that this supposed person is actually something supernatural. Well dressed squatter. There haven't been any further updates on this story, but until then, you be the judge. That looks like a suit, like a breast pocket. Judge on what was captured. It's it. All right, harder to fake, but I'm still not. Or viewers. I'm not convinced. There has stirred, and I. Right. If you. I'm not convinced. In fact, it actually. I'm not 100% convinced it isn't actually that video of Charles Manson. Like, I'm not 100%. Because watch. I just want to like. Oh no, it is. It is different enough. I was just. There's a bit where like his head turns away from the camera, like the ghost, and I'm like, I swear Charles Manson does the exact same fucking move. Ah, I'm just not convinced it isn't just this video like rotoscoped or some shit. I'm just. I don't know, man. I'm just not convinced that that is not just the same video rotoscoped like onto the footage. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just not a hundred percent sure. If you look closely, you can see what looks to be a figure moving in the dark. But it's only after brightening the footage that the video becomes even more scary. This mysterious figure might just be the same person or thing caught in the. I'm just not sure previous photo now it could be that a squad either way whatever let's review this video uh this one all right number five the one that took like 10 minutes of the video weird lots of weird happenings nothing too unbelievable just consistent sort of knocking and weirdness uh weird weird uh some of it the, the sort of slight movement of things is hard to fake i think well no no it's not it's not too hard it's on a still camera actually but take oh the, the moving eyes on the doll that was the one but again, everything that's moving is always caught on a static camera, which is convenient. Easier to fake things on a static camera, so that's worth noting. But, um, weird. Just weird. You know, th this one I think is weird. Seem nothing suddenly. too outlandish. Nothing like crazy. It's not like seeing the fucking demon hands like that one lady did. Lots of happenings, but all pretty consistent and like, you know, not too fucking bizarre. So, uh, that one's weird.
weird. Number five is weird. Possibly the scariest one because it's the one I believe the most. Uh, then we've got um, a lady with the creepy demon hands. Really cool video. Almost certain it's going to have to be faked because that's like, that, that's too fucking good to be true. Creepy demon hands. It's too much. And also seeing like a, a weird shadow figure as well as creepy demon hands. That's too much for one person, I think. Uh, the dog, it's just a dog reacting to dust or some shit. I don't think the person is necessarily trying to fake anything. I don't, like, it could be reversed, but realistically, I think a dog just acted weird and then a door got blown on open. Occasion, and the, and the owner really overreacted and put it on Reddit. Like, like, watch it again. Like, dogs do that shit, man. If they get a bit of dust on their nose. That'd be fucking anything, man. Really? Like, that. I'm not too blown away by that, you know? Shit happens sometimes, man. Number two, uh, the bus. I don't know, it's too fucking low resolution to make anything out concrete. Kind of weird, but like, yeah, whatever. Like, I'm not too, like, shook up by it. And then Reddit man, I'm convinced, is just like some video editing. I'm really not, like, too creeped out by it. So I'd say five is probably the creepiest. Uh, then four, uh, and then maybe two, one, and three. Five, four, two, three, one. That's my sort of order from like scariest to most realistic to most bullshit. Which is the dog. Like the dog is, that, that's a bullshit man. Like, I'm really not. Whatever man. Yeah. Is, is wit sus? Is that how you say that? Thank you for the three months. That's a very conveniently timed prime my friend. Do you want to know why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. You see, my friends, it is the top of the hour, and you know what that means. Just like Moxie Life. Happy 14 years, man. 14 years! Such a long time. I've only been streaming for three of them. But either way, it is the top of the hour, which means we're going to run a one-minute-long ad just to support the stream, essentially. I mean, it really does support the stream. I can't express this enough. One minute its all it takes. You can just sit there. You don't even have to watch it. Just leave it open on your phone. That's all I ask. And it will, it just generates me enough income to make it worth my while. Uh, of course, not everyone can afford to sub, and I understand that. So this is my way of asking you to support me uh, if you can't afford it. It doesn't cost you a penny, and it really does mean the world. I mean, out of 60 minutes, one of them being an ad, I think is very fair. So if you do, if you do want to, you know, you do want to watch the ad, I really appreciate it. We'll be straight back afterwards. If not, if you really hate ads, if you despise them, and you just don't want to watch a single ad more, and you can subscribe for the low, low price of $4.99. Or you can click subscribe right now, even if you don't have $4.99. And just check whether the Prime option is available to you. You never know. I forget about it all the time. Just click subscribe. See if the Prime is there. That means you will not have to watch any ads for the next 30 days. Subs, watch these streams ad-free. No pre-roll. No mid-rolls. Nothing. Straight subscription. And it supports me a lot. Just Seriously. finished work and now the manifold grind is a go. Yes! Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, Savage, thank you for gifting us up. But either way, these really do help support me, seriously. This makes it all worth my while. This is what keeps me afloat, keeps me living, keeps me able to do this pretty much every day for you guys. So, seriously, if you can find it in your heart, I do mean it. It does mean a lot. Either way, I'm going to run the 60 second ad, and I will be back in just a moment. See you guys in a sec. Actually, in a minute, because that's how long the ad is. Either way, it's about to start, and it's started. Hello, subs, primers, welcome. How are you all doing? How are you guys? You should be the only people who are able to hear me at this point. So, I ask, how are you? What's this song called? It's the We Shop theme. I'm also probably going to get some water in there because I quite do with a drink. Been better? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Sorry to hear. <clears throat> Hi, I can still hear. That's all good, man. If you can still hear me, you got lucky. That's all I'm going to say. My granddad sent me a video on Facebook Messenger. I wonder what it is. Have a look. Hold on. Oh, bless you. <laughs> my granddad, right, let me tell you something about my granddad. My granddad, um, he, his, he had a PlayStation, right, when I was growing up. Uh, before we did. Uh, we, he got us a PlayStation 2 at some point. But before he bought us a PlayStation 2, he himself had a PlayStation. And he would play that PlayStation. And his favorite game on the PlayStation was play, uh, Crash Bandicoot. 
He loved Crash Bandicoot. It was his favorite game by a mile. He used to play it. He used to stay up late at night trying to beat it with my aunt. Uh, and when I went around as a kid for a sleepover once uh, that I didn't stick through because I missed home and wanted to go home. But I uh, played. he introduced me to Crash Bandicoot and I played it and I enjoyed it. Uh, and I always associate kind of that game with my granddad. Uh, welcome back from the house, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm just midway through telling a story. Um, but yeah, Crash Bandicoot was his favorite game and, and I always associate with him. And I've bought him like a Crash Bandicoot. I mean, you can see I love Crash. I got the Aku Aku mask behind me. I love Crash. But either way, uh, he, I got him like a Crash Bandicoot t-shirt. I got him some socks. Like I'm just, I, you know, I, just, I play into it because it's a thing we both enjoyed. But either way, I just got a message from him on Facebook Messenger uh, uh, 10 minutes ago. And he sent me a Facebook link to the Insane Trilogy is crashing new platforms on July 10th. And I was, because obviously originally the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy only launched on PS4. And I don't have a PlayStation. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, I know this. I know it released on new platforms on July 10th. Because this didn't happen on July 10th. is isn't going to happen on July 10th of 2023. Um... That post was from the 14th of March, 2018. Uh, and I have played the Insane Trilogy with him, in fact, on my computer. Um, but he obviously, he hasn't noticed that that post is from five years ago. And he's obviously got excited because he's like, Jack might like this. And he sent me the post. Uh, so bless him. Uh, I, I will message him back shortly and be like, <laughs> thanks, granddad. Maybe we'll play it because bless him. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know that it's a post from 2018. He just thinks he's showing me some cool news. But yeah, 2018. Five years ago. <laughs> I've been playing that game for ages. Either way. Oh, oh, I got a text from... God, my phone's going crazy this stream. Either way. That's just a little story I want to tell you all. Play with him on stream. I have thought about doing a stream with him when we play Crash together. I have thought about it. He's very funny. He's a very funny guy. I think people would realize that a lot of my humor comes from him. I feel like uh, he, he was always funny. So I feel like I, I learned a lot of being funny from him. Either way. Uh, without further ado, we have more scary compilations to watch. But which one should we watch? That's what I'm curious about. We've got so much scary compilation in front of us. Which one should we watch? We've never watched version 69. All right, well, I think I've settled on which one we have to watch. I didn't realize we never watched version 69. Come on now! Life of Luxury? What, what's Life of Luxury? Huh? What's everyone saying? Salmon Colby, Salmon Colby, too long, bro. I don't have that. I got a headache because I, I had my eyes dilated today. All their videos are just slightly too long, sadly. I'd love to watch them, but they're all like at nearly an hour, and I, it'll take me like three. It took me an hour to watch an 18 minute long video, so it's going to take a little while to get through their, their content. What's Life of Luxury? Let's give that a, a quick... Give that a look. What's that? Why do you want to go to this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to get me to watch? <laughs> what is this? What is this shit? Do not fall asleep at Petey's Playhouse. And it's the fucking... It's in a horrendous Photoshop of a woman sleeping in a bed with the fucking Winnie the Pooh from the fucking new Winnie the Pooh uh, Blood and Honey video. Have you, have you seen that? Uh, let me... Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. It's the fucking... It's, it's this. It's like so obviously this. Where's like a good... Uh, it's like so obviously Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Which, by the way, uh, a f uh, someone I once did a shoot with. Some of you might remember. Do you remember when I did the uh, Wheel of... Is it Wheel of Time? The Wheel of Time Prime video shoot? Like the in-person one where we're all dressed in medieval gear and stuff? Do you remember that? We will watch this, by the way. If you remember that, one of the actresses from Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey uh, was actually with us for that. Uh, her name was Amber. She was she was one of the people on the panel, um, but yeah, she she is uh, one of the one of the main stars. Oh, they're satire. All right, fine. We'll, we'll we'll watch a bit of one. We'll see how we feel. We'll see how we feel. We'll watch a little bit of one since people are asking. Oh, I don't have the sound on my bed. All right, let's give it a watch. 
Unless her sister's missing, she could be in there. Welcome to Katie's Playhouse. Do your parents know you're here? Jesus Christ, all right. Someone trapped us in here. Is this a no. No joke? You're a couple of naughty boys. <laughs> the other windows, they were blocked. Okay, wait, this does actually seem kind of funny. These guys are dangerous. <laughs> Listen, as annoyed as these guys are, we need to stay and record to see if we can find. <laughs> Fucking win. Okay, okay. I, I don't even have. Alright. Oh, wow, they really managed to. They managed to get the Winnie the Pooh mask. Impressive. Chester! Not Petey! Hello, Lux Army. Let's hit 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. So for this episode, we received an email from a girl named Becca. Okay. Whose little sister Kaylee recently went missing. Oh, fuck. Becca says she found a tape in her sister's room. Right. That she thinks may have something to do with her disappearance. She sends us this video of the tape. So come on now. To Petey's Playhouse, where the fun never stops. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> the fucking little bzz, bzz, as he fucking zaps him. Jesus Christ. But remember. Also, the mask is so creepy. Like, that, that mask is actually ironically a little bit creepy. Ah, uh, yes. Stellar marketing. Anything that's aimed at kids that says, don't tell your parents, is definitely not ran by predators. <laughs> now, Becca thinks her little sister was tricked into going to this playhouse, and in addition to her sister disappearing, several others in the area have also gone oh, missing. Oh, my God. Becca Pete, he's convinced so many of them. in the tape may have something to do with it. Becca loves her Reasonable. little sister so much and <laughs> needs us to bring her back. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. <laughs> Who are these guys, by the way? Like, it, 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 canonically, like, what's the law? Who are these guys? Like, why do people email them when their fucking little sister disappears to, like, Petey's Playhouse instead of, I don't know, the fucking police? Like, cause, like, this isn't even ghosts. Like, this isn't even something that you could, you'd go to the police and they go, what a load of baloney, and they wouldn't, like, investigate it. You go, my sister was kidnapped by a man in a mask. And the police would probably go, child kidnappers are kind of our thing, so we'll deal with that. Why, why, what, what's the law behind this fucking Lux guy doing it? A cab for is that it? Just people don't like the police? Is that is, is that someone said A cab? Is that it? Do I I, I just believe that like 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 no the people in this town don't fuck with the police, so they get they call these guys because like eh. Police are adults. They can't tell adults. Ah. Now I think now we're thinking. It's just fake. No, I know. I fucking know it's fake. I'm just trying to play along. Bro, why do you want to go to this house? We weren't invited. Because Becca says her sister's missing. She could be in there. Then why doesn't she look for her herself? We aren't even sure mm. this place is real. Mm. Bro, you saw Very the logical. tape Becca found. It definitely looks real. And apparently multiple <laughs> people have gone missing. It looks very <laughs> real. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Fucking 2012 YouTube. It looks so much like a 2012 YouTuber. That's insane. Okay. All right. I think the place is around here. Let's get out and start walking. Dude, where are we? Come on. I think the house is back there. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, sweet. Fuck me, is there no child's coming here and being like, ah, yes, the playhouse I've heard so much about. I can't wait to play. Abandoned. I'm pretty sure this is it. <laughs> yeah, if I was a five year old, I'd be like, yeah, this place looks fun. About to play in here. Five months, fearful, spooky face with peeking eye. I'm very fearful, spooky face with peeking eye. I'm this. This is me. Thank you for the five months.
Okay, good transition. Good transition. I'll Dude, give him that. What is this place? Good transition from creepy haunted house to, to just normal house. What's this? A door, my friend. <gasps> the fucking FNAF ball pit! The FNAF ball pit! This place is weird. I just saw a ball pit over there. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of concerned with the decorations in this place. Why? I think something's really off here. It's just a playhouse. This is how playhouses look. Dude, you know the, of, you... I, I think something's off. The guy, This guy thinks something's off because there's a ball pit and a playhouse. Who is this fucker that he, he, he like goes hunting with? He's dumb. Thank you for the hundred bits, by the Can't way. Do that. Why not? Imagine what kind of freaks live here. Because we just got here, and we haven't even tried to look for Kit. Who's that? <laughs> Petey! Bro, who is that? Hi, I'm Petey. What's this guy doing? Welcome to Petey's Playhouse. Do your parents know you're here? Our parents? No, um, we're actually here looking for our friend Kaylee. Is she here? We have lots of friends here at Petey's Playhouse. Ah, uh, okay, that's good. Now, are you guys ready to play? I'm always ready to play, Petey. Um, not right now. Do you think you could show us where Kaylee is? <laughs> His fucking line delivery is so funny the way he's like, um, not right now. Do you think you could show us where Kaylee is? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Hey! Thank you, PD. Follow me. That's really useful of you. Okay. Dude, do you really want to follow this guy? Yeah, come on. <laughs> I love how his friends like so obviously just really rude. Like, you really want to follow this guy to his face and shit. Oh shit! I call the fucking button. Dude. Where's he taking us? I don't know. Just ask him, bro. My god. I believe Kaylee is in here. Naughty boy's room. But she's a girl, for a start. Wait, what is this? Dude, what? <laughs> is this some type of joke? Is that the shitter? Wait, what? Now you've got a shit in the bucket! Let's just go. What? Oh, he didn't even lock him in. He just like took them in the room and then was like, ah, you can leave. <laughs> you can leave. That's fine. We're leaving. Oh, they're not looking for Kaylee no more? I guess they gave up on that, huh? What? They're locked in by Lego! What happened to this door? Thank you, Alice. Appreciate the prime. Hey, four more subs to uh, the funny number. Someone trapped us in here. What do you mean? Bro, we gotta leave. Yeah, no way they can break that down. Dude. No way he can break that down. He can't do it. He can't do it. It isn't even budging. It's not even budging. We're trapped. What? Is there another way out? Okay, this is quite fun. Hold on. This is quite fun, actually. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying this. Bro, they blocked the windows too. No. How do we get out of this place? I don't know. Imagine who else is trapped in here. Well, let's try to look for a way to get out. Dude, there's probably other people stuck in here. Listen, I'm gonna set up some cameras. Bro, no. What? Why? What's that gonna achieve? I gotta find another way out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set up some cameras in this house. Okay, GoPro. They're never gonna spot that dude. Huh? <laughs> TV land. TV land. It's just a. It's just literally the fucking living room or some shit. I bet. There's plastic. 
Oh, never mind. There's like five TVs. Wow. I want to find a way out of this place. What's Remember that? to go to the bathroom. I, I, that's fucking funny. It's not. It, it's like the fucking puppy playtime. Like, remember to wash your hands. But it's like not remember to wash your hands. It's just <laughs> remember to piss. <laughs> like, remember that sometimes you're gonna need to piss, and that's okay. <laughs> I really like. <laughs> I really like that. No, like, remember to wash your hands. Remember to, like, clean up after yourself. Just remember to pee. Like, remember sometimes you gotta do that. Friendo says pee. Oh, wait, shit. That's funny. I f that's really funny. Ooh. What's this? Commercial. What's that noise? What is that noise? Is it gonna be Frendo? Hi! Hi everyone! <gasps> it's oh. me, Pini! Hey, hey Pini! Hey, Imagine if this was like really an ad. It's like fucking busted arcade machines. He's like, we have lots of games. And everyone's favorite characters. But remember, Peter's Playhouse is a secret, so don't tell your parents. What? I love it. Dashcon live footage. Dashcon was Petey's Playhouse. Why is he just fucking hacking up like a like a fucking like bedside table? And when the clock strikes midnight, oh, I guess it's we... time for Petey and Pal's musical fun time with me, Petey, everyone's favorite band, Frondo, and don't forget Conductor Charlie. Is <laughs> this like a dude? The other two like kind of look creepy, and then this Conductor Charlie, and he's just a dude. <laughs> in like stripy clothes. <laughs> ah! Conductor Charlie, that's what that was my reaction. My, my face went Conductor Charlie. What is this? What's he doing? No, not Conductor. This <laughs> fucking this fucking suspenders right down. It's fucking like overalls fight. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so bad. Is the way he's like bouncing around? He's like moving pretty normal. And then. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, that's funny. Oh no, he's in the fucking evil shit room. Be ready to play forever! Cause once you're here, you can never leave! What? <laughs> he puts that in the ad? You're telling me in the ad he shows you these fucking this fucking busted house. Says, don't tell your parents. Invites kids to come along, but tells them they can't tell their parents. And also that they can never leave. Meaning that they've just got to go by themselves. <laughs> Welcome to my dark reality. Fuck sake. What, what kid is going? Fair deal. Fair deal, this. Yep. Yeah, no, I fancy going to Charlie's. <laughs> His little fucking Tommy laugh is really funny. I also like the fact that he didn't manage to break the stool, so he just throws it. Oh, no. I hear Chester screaming. 
Fucking deadpan delivery Can kills I... me. Hello, friend. <laughs> the fucking voice! The mask is pretty cool, to be fair. Who is that? I don't know. Who, who? Friendo just ignores him. He doesn't like. He doesn't try and apprehend him. He just goes, Chester, who is that? And it allows him to get attacked. Next time I see my friend getting attacked, I'm gonna first ask who it is and stand by as they get attacked further. <laughs> What's he doing? Who is that? What's he doing? He like, never. He never wants things to intervene. <gasps> oh, the fucking back cracks. <laughs> Dude, this guy's back. This isn't how you treat visitors at our playhouse, even if they are naughty boys. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Katie. I just wanted to say hello. It's okay, friend. No, no. How about we stop all this and start the play? Never mind. It ain't playtime now. It's Ooh. music time. What's that noise? What's, what's, what's happening? 6 a.m., yes, the night's over. Okay? Dude, that guy kept touching me. Who are these people? Bro, I don't know, but I put some cameras down. Let's go somewhere private. But I still want to find a way out of this place. We will. Let's hide somewhere and lock the door. Okay. Okay, nice. Sick. <laughs> it's 12 a.m., it's music time. Guys, they're about to do music. Woo! Oh, know. lay down that BPD! Woo! Where's our uh, conductor Charlie? Bro, they're playing instruments right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the fucking dialogue is great. Why are they doing that? <laughs> I love them asking each other questions that obviously they don't have the fucking answer to. It it's great. Just like, who is that guy? What's he doing? <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know. Let's but did they kill Conductor Charlie? Is that what I'm led to believe? Like he isn't asleep, they killed him. They all him okay. Okay. Dude, I told you. I checked all the other windows. They were blocked. These guys are dangerous. You need to listen to me. Bro, I can barely hear you over this annoying music. How True. long are these guys gonna be doing this? It's been 22 minutes, man. <laughs> Just the bobbing up and down. Like a I fucking know, animatronic. That's but funny. we need to find another way out of this place. Because right Everyone's now- Everyone's saying, you the sheets. What's wrong with the sheets? Oh my oh. god! I didn't spot that at all! Look at those fucking sheets, bro! What did he do? Someone was scared of Petey's Playhouse. They shit the bed, bro. I don't know. But we need to find another way out of this place. Because right now, we're trapped. Yes, and we might not be the only ones. Listen, as annoyed <laughs> as these guys are, we need to stay and record to see if we can find Kaylee. Bro, oh, we're back on that. Bro, listen, I'm tired. I want to try to sleep for a bit, but when we wake up, we'll watch the footage. Yeah, he looks tired, bro. Like, holy circles under his tired. eyes. I want to try to sleep for My god, bro hasn't slept in a year. At least. He hasn't slept in 10 years, at least. It's insane. For a bit, but when we wake up, we'll watch the footage. Dude. We go to sleep. They're sleeping together. All right, look, look, I get that the chat keeps saying they're gay, and like, fine, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. You can head count them as gay. Look, in this situation, they, they look, they can't be like, mm, well, you sleep in this room, and I'm gonna sleep in this room. Like, their options for rooms are pretty slim. All right, they've managed to get a room to themselves away from Petey and the fucking. I'm just saying, right? I've shared a bed with my homies before. In dire situations, sometimes you got to, alright? Me and Jago shared a bed once after a party because that was the only available option and we 
and we, and we slept together. And that's okay. All right? Only one bed trope. Yeah, like, I'm just saying, maybe they are gay, but that isn't... Them being in the same bed isn't evidence to them being gay. You know, you can't... Can't just say two guys sleeping in the same bed are gay just because they're sleeping in the same bed. You know? It, they gotta be in love and shit. IRL they are? No, they might be. I, I don't really mind. <laughs> I, it's not my business. I was just saying. It just, it just amused me. They might be IRL for all I know. Naughty boys room. This is how they got together? You're telling me they, they fell in love over making these videos? Based if true, but... This shit looks fun. It actually does, to be fair. Bro, how long are they gonna do this? Oh my god, yeah, they've been doing it for three hours. Ooh, it's 3 a.m. That's a scary time. We all know that. Dude, I think they stopped. <laughs> the Lovejoy tour looking great here. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ashkabosu going crazy on that base. Let's finally try to get some sleep now. Okay. I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. I couldn't sleep in a place like this. Like, I, I don't do well sleeping. In, like, I'm, I'm not, I, I will put myself into a scary situation. Right? I did the ghost hunting with Sam and Colby, but I did not sleep that night. Like, at all. Like, I, I don't sleep when shit like that happens. It keeps me up. I got an overactive imagination. Anyway, go pee, Chester. Their weird little door transition thing intrigues me. What's in the fucking toilet? <laughs> what? <laughs> that fucking strange. Is this why Friendo was like, remember to use the bathroom so he can watch like a fucking pervert? What a fucking weirdo. He wants kids to come here without his parents and use the bathroom and then all of a sudden he's fucking watching while you have fun? What a fucking weirdo. Friendo's peculiar, bro. We go back to sleep. <laughs> he just moves on. He's like, ah, oh, fucking bear trying to watch me piss, but I just left. Like, there's, there's no, like, struggle. They just, they just go and sleep. Oh, they don't cuddle or anything. Even with the homies, you gotta cuddle. Ooh. Interested. Ooh. Is something gonna come in their room while they're sleeping? I think that's Frendo? Yeah, I was about to say it sounds like Frendo. <laughs> what do you do? You get comfy at the end? Where do you go? <sighs> he just he kind of got relaxed. He like got in the balls. It's like it's like it, like it's the equivalent of like him getting in a bath. He's like, <sighs> time to unwind after a long day of watching people pee. Fuck's sake! It's four a.m. Even Frando's sleepy. Maybe, yeah, maybe. EP friendo, yeah, he's EP. Me, 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 me. Oh, oh, and friendo. Where are they going? Okay, they're in the spare room. 
It's got a barbecue in it for some reason. About to come in. I must admit, they're building tension. Oh. What's he doing? Should be no movement. Yep. What are they doing? Oh, they wrote on the walls. Ooh. Oh, he spotted the camera. Fuck, Petey! Very uncomfortable noise. <laughs> he got a text. Bro, what are you doing? What if our cameras stop working? <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Like, how is he so- they sleep slow, so lightly that he like saw him use- Actually, to be fair, they're in a haunted house, actually. I'm critiquing too much now. If I was in a haunted house, I'd be sleeping light Bro, enough to spot that as well. Come on. Dude, no. I don't want to go back out there. And neither should you. I'm just gonna go fix it real quick. Stay here if you want. I want to eat some soy sauce right now. I'd love just like soy sauce on something real fucking plain. Like broccoli or some shit. I just want some soy sauce. On some fucking prawn crackers, just dip it in there. I don't know why he's doing this. I just, I need some soy sauce right now. <laughs> just drink the soy sauce, that can kill you if you do that. If you drink too much, you'll die. Parker? Parker? Parker where? Was he gonna get fucking grabbed? Condom! What's that? He wrote condom! That's that's inappropriate! Parker? Is it gonna be is it gonna be Charles can conduct to Charlie? I think it's gonna be Conductor Charlie, or maybe Kaylee. What? No, no, it's gonna be Conductor Charlie if the train's there. Oh. Is he tied up under there? The weird transitions are so odd. What? What's going on? Oh no, it's. I think that's Kaylee, maybe. Is that supposed to be Kaylee, maybe? Why is he written. Oh. Oh my god, the conductors are normal people, that's why they look normal. Holy fuck! And now they want to use him as conductor- Now that's a fucking twist, these guys know how to write. Oh god. <laughs> why is Chester's name there? Oh, you about dumb as shit, bro! Come on now, you know. I thought it was like a big jellyfish Stop or some it. shit. <laughs> Just screaming. Where are you, bro? What is he doing to you? He starts asking questions again. <laughs> Why does he just never intervene? Ever. He just never does anything. <laughs> Oh, and now he's gonna go? Now the door's already been closed and probably locked? Chester! Where'd the bear go? I don't know! Come on, we gotta go! Dude, what is that? Behind you! What?
FNAF tier jump scare. He never does anything! He just stands and goes, STOP! Chester! Does fucking nothing the whole time. There's not very long left. Are they gonna escape? Oh, he actually held for once. Holy fuck. Are they gonna save the girls, by the way? They didn't even save the girls and they also managed to somehow easily knock down that undestruct indestructible wall from earlier? They're just gonna leave, Kaylee? They're watching us! Bro, what were those guys trying to do to you? Listen, I found people under his bed. Should we go back in there and look for Kaylee? Dude, you have no idea what that bear was like when we were alone. Whatever, let's just go to our car. Okay. Well, they just give up. They, they, they don't go help her. Is that it? We went back home and emailed Becca that her sister may still be trapped in Petey's playhouse. Is that it? Like, they, they're just like, oh. They just emailed the sister and was like, I know you love your sister, I know we were supposed to help, but like, she's definitely still back there. Ain't nothing we can do. Sorry. She's been begging us to go back and look again. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> 100,000 likes for the next episode to be <laughs> Oh, that's classic. That's classic. Bro's like, oh, he's, she's been begging us to go back and then does this fucking YouTube outro asking for likes and subs released and thank you so much for 6.4 million subs if you haven't already make sure to smash that subscribe button for more life of luxury episodes the video is over now so you don't need to keep watching but here's some footage from our new video where we buy an egg off the dark web on luxury dark all right i'll watch a little bit fuck it why not <laughs> the fuck is that a fucking animal in the bed uh, oh. Is that Limmy? Limmy? Is that Limmy? Why is Limmy there wet and in a bed? Fucking Limmy! <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that footage. Remember, let's hit 100,000 likes for more Life of Luxury episodes. We have a lot of scary videos coming that you don't want to miss. So smash that subscribe button with notifications on. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for being part of the Lux Army. <laughs> Steps off camera. <laughs> Fuck me, man. That's great. Oh uh, no, nah, they're funny. Wait, hold on. Why do you want to go? They upload like once every fucking few months as well. Surely these don't take that long to make, right? This is more. The fuck? Wild. You know what, though? Merry Christmas and happy birthday and happy 14 months. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I low-key kind of want to do a video where I make one of these with, like, my friends. You know what I mean? Like, I low-key want to... <laughs> low-key kind of want to make a video where, like, me, like, Tommy and a bunch of people do something like this. That could be quite fun. Maybe we'll work... I don't have time at the moment. Like, I'm way too fucking busy with boxing and, and shit. But, but maybe... Maybe we give it a go. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. So why is the bear like fucking naked in the in the thumbnail, by the way? Like he, he's not, he's fully clothed out the video, but he's like fucking naked body in there. <laughs> fucking odd. Bizarre. Bizarre. I'm not watching another one of these videos. I want to go back to watching actual ghost shit, but I'm glad, I'm glad we made a little detour into that. I'm glad we made a little de a detour off of Bizarre Bob onto a fucking life of luxury. <laughs> I want to watch more Bizarre Bub now. I want to watch. I want. I want to watch more of the uh, the the actual ghost shit we said we watch. But we'll watch some more of those guys in the future. They're funny. I think we're gonna mix those guys into these streams. They're fun. They're very fun. Watch more ghost shit. 
I want to watch some more Bizarre Bob. We'll watch one more in the future, though. Don't worry, chat. For everyone saying one more, we'll watch some more in the future. We do. We watch ghost shit all the time. We'll, we'll watch more. Don't worry. It's just I wasn't expecting it today, so I, I don't want to. I don't want to like you know. A lot of people came here expecting this shit. I kind of uh, you know you know how it is. We'll watch more. Don't worry. We'll watch more. We'll watch more in the future. A woman is alone at home when something. Oh, I need to shake the fucking humor. Life of Luxury is funny though. That is really funny. Stomedy? Wait, Stomedy's still fucking kicking about. Someone said Stomedy something to watch. Wait, hold on. Before we move on. Fucking Stomedy. It's been a long time. That's Stromedy. Where's Stomedy? Stomedy smoking. Yeah, like this. Hey guys, my name is Steve and today I'm gonna be doing this smoke tricks challenge, you know, it's for just for smokers, you know, the people who smoke, yeah, what I'm about to do, do not <laughs> I fucking love the channel name Stomedy, by the way, bro took Steve and Comedy and put them together and went, Stomedy! Do not try this at home, okay? This is dangerous activity because I'm gonna be using a- Wait, did people mean Stromedy? Because I'm talking about Stomedy, bro. Like, from back in the day, are people, were you guys talking about this guy? Stromedy? Oh, you guys were talking about Stromedy, okay. No, I'm talking about Stomedy. Different guy. Very different guy. For just for smokers, you know, the people at home. So, yep, I've been smoking. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Just lights a bit of fucking cardboard on fire on his stove. <laughs> Where's the laugh? This. Where's the laugh? He had such a fucking distinct laugh. Do not try this at home. This was a fail. <coughs> If I need to smoke, I'm just gonna get a cigarette. Oh no. Where is it? He used to have such a distinct laugh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Best of Stomedy. All right, here we go. This is the sort of stuff I'm looking for. This was the Stomedy theme, by the way. That fucking weird music. Feels like, sounds like somebody is peeing. Do you know that? Do you know that, son? Put your hands on the back. Okay. <laughs> That's gross. Just find me one clip of him laughing, please. Is the dog on leash? Wait, don't leave. Why not? They have got in the store. Well and pack. Sorry. Be a lot of confusion. <laughs> okay, no, I'm done. The little fucking gremlin. The gremlin. I'm done. I'm done. We go back to fucking Bizarre Bub. I'm sorry, the fucking gremlin. He still at loads. Look at the comments. Wait, what? Oh my god, he still does upload. Holy fuck, he's still there. My last video about She-Hulk transformation. He, in the past... <laughs> this has got to be like... A... It's got to be some sort of fetish. What the fuck is this? He has made... In the past, how many... Giantess She-Hulk destroys a city... And it's just been fucking She-Hulk transformation videos. Pretty much every single video, bar most annoying sound in the world. For five months, and he's uploading... Giant... This has got to be... She-Hulk transformation meme that is probably the funniest video on YouTube. Does he just sit and watch like these She-Hulk videos or does he make them? I'm so confused. And it's like so obviously like f fetish stuff as well by the looks of things. Like in no way does it seem like it's like funny. It's like... What the fuck? He just puts giantess in the title? So his most- So I'm so- Oh! 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 Fuck. 
No, his channel name's Giantess. I'm a fucking moron. So I was like, you just put Giantess in the fucking title. I'm like, what's he trying to do? But I've realized it's like, what? Sorry, I know we're watching ghost videos, but someone mentioned Stomedy. I, what on earth? It, right, whatever. You know, what, I'm. We're fine. Whatever. Let's just go back to watching ghost shit. I'm fucking. The fuck. Weird. Pretty bro. creepy is caught on camera. The following video comes from a woman who lives alone with her two cats. Ah. Every so often, her cats would do things that would make her question whether or not they were children in their past lives. To her, it feels- <laughs> I think they were probably children in their current lives. Most people at some point in their current life were a child. I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't think children in their past life- I was a child in this life. As were most anything. It's as though she's living with kids. Given how much she loves her cats, she buys a camera to see what they do when she's away from home. The camera she gets has an auto-tracking feature, which basically means that the camera points to wherever it senses movement, tracking wherever the cats go. Although recording everything they do, it seems that buying the camera was a bad idea, as ever since having it, it's been capturing things that are scaring her. What? The following like what? are just some of the things that happen when she's away from home. All right. Take a look. Okay, the cat got startled. Okay, camera does something kind of buggy, as cameras can do. That happens. Alright, so far this is bullshit. Alright, that could be a ghost orb. I'm never convinced by ghost orbs, because, like, it is just dust, isn't it? Okay, the cat's stunned its back legs. That not that weird? From strange noises that come out of nowhere, to unseen forces that Ghost orb. I feel like people always point out ghost orbs, but like, it's just fucking dust, bro. That are picked up by the camera. The only time I've ever been convinced by ghost orbs is I was told a story of, like, a guy who went into a house, and the ghost orbs, like, he'd just stand out and do this, and ghost orbs would just surround him. And, like, that's a bit weird. Like, just going into a room and doing that doesn't make dust just show up on camera and shit. That's weird. But, like, just one odd little, like, you know, I'm just never convinced. But, um, I, I, I do know of a story of a guy doing woman that. woman is beyond spooked. Now, it's not only when she's gone that strange things happen. There have been countless instances when something unexplainable occurred while being at home. That's on weird. one occasion, the woman is in the kitchen when all of a sudden, an object on her shelf just launches off on its own. Too off camera to really see anything there. But creepiest of all is when one day, while sitting on the couch, this happened. <laughs> she went really fast and she didn't realize. The woman is certain that there was no draft when this happened, as according to her, the whole apartment is sealed just tight enough to prevent any airflow from outside. Didn't realize she was a fucking, like, architect. Didn't realize she was the fucking air pressure fucking police. I, like, what? What do you mean? I don't know, this house is sealed just tight enough that that couldn't happen. What? Look, like, I don't know. I don't know about my house. Like... I, I, I couldn't fucking tell you whether my house is sealed tight enough. Like, I, I live by my fucking self. I don't know this apartment in and out enough to go, hmm, I think it's sealed too tight for that to happen. What? Four months, let's go. Crystal, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Like, doors are weird. Like, doors can be very weird. Like, I know, like, Eleanor, for example, like, uh, her house, the front door, 
Like, if you don't close it fully, there's, like, a, an obvious, like, vortex sound of, like, where, like, air pressure gets all weird because the door isn't fully, fully closed. And it goes... That loud. Like, it's really loud if you don't shut the door properly. Doors are fucking weird. Air pressure's weird. Oh, you know that, lady. Given that this has never happened before, she finds this very unusual. Sadly enough, it's incidents like this, among many others, that's been causing her a lot of anguish, as she doesn't know what to do to stop this. She does seem to be in anguish there, Whatever yeah. it might be that's going on, it's taking a don't toll just, on her mental don't health. Don't show, show me a sad lady! No, I feel bad! Out of all occurrences... Bro, just show me, like, a sad lady! It was like, look how sad she is! Like, aww! Regardless of whether any of this is real, she's clearly upset by it. One in particular has pushed her to take action by seeking help from others. The incident is opener. nonetheless pretty creepy. This is what was caught. Ooh. That is weird. Camera moves right as the music goes weird. <laughs> That's weird. The music stopping right as the camera turns. That's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. I'll give it that. Oh, and then the door. Oh, she's like calling her out. She's French. Yeah. Now, that's not me saying that she deserves any of this. I'm just... just yeah. <laughs> I am joking. Wait, wait, 3.5 subs, 3.5, funny, 3.5 subs, halfway to 69, 3.5, funny. That is weird. Is she like threatening you? She's like, come on, close that damn door, do it. Does the ghost speak French? I'm assume so. That is weird. You know what? This video started out as like cats doing cat shit, but it's weird. It's weird. It seems weird. And her reaction seems quite genuine and stuff. You know? Nothing's too outlandish. It is weird. The music going off and then the door closing and shit. That one's weird. I, I, at first I was pretty convinced there was just like Once nothing again, in particular. The like, you know, and then I get kind of skeptical about the ghost orbs. Cause like, you know, like I, I, I'm always of the idea that like, it's just fucking dust. But like, look, Finding it in a place where there's also weird shit going on. The door just somehow it moves on its own. Even the cat appears to be scared as it quickly jumps off the bed after sensing something wrong. It quickly rushes out of the doorway as to avoid being crushed by the door. Naturally, the woman was left shaken up. If no draft had caused this, then how did it close on its own? As with previous incidents, she can't seem to explain this. But like always, you be the judge as to whether or not something paranormal occurred. Is this woman actually experiencing paranormal activity? Or is something else going on here? Hmm, weird. That one's weird. In this next- But before that one starts, people. It's the top of the hour. You know what that means. People, people, people. 
It's time to support the streamer. Now, people, I'm a man, a humble man, that simply wishes to make pennies, pounds, cents, dollars, dong, bitcoin, Shiba. <laughs> Either way, I appreciate it so much if you guys could watch just one minute worth of ads. We do it at the top of the hour every hour. But of course, if you don't want to watch ads, there is a way out of it. You can simply subscribe for the lower price of 4 99 or click the subscribe button right now, as I encourage you all to do, and just see if the Prime option is available for you. It costs nothing. You know, if you're not using it, it's not that you gain anything from not using it. It's not that you can save them up, you know? I'd appreciate it if you used your Prime, if you do have it. Because at the end of the day, it's free money that goes directly to me, and it helps support the channel a lot. Either way, I'm not going to stall for very long this time. I want to get straight back into watching this video. I'll be back after just one minute. Please do stick through the ad because we'll be straight back to the content right afterwards. See you in a sec. The ad is playing, by the way. Hello, everybody. I might go get a water while the ad plays this time, if that's all right. I will be back in just a second. But I'm just going to quickly go grab a water. Ooh. Welcome back from the ad. Why can't I hear shit? Oh, the video paused. Uh, uh, yeah, the music the music started buffering. Is are we lagging or is it just w like a little bit of weirdness? Are we good? The music was just buffering when I got back. A two months I love streams SM. We're all good. Also, for anyone wondering, yes, this was stolen, but not by me. It was stolen by my... I don't remember who stole it. It was, it, my, my, it was stolen from a pub years ago. My parents gave it me as a moving out gift. It's quite cool, though. Pepsi glass. So it definitely is stolen. <laughs> but I didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't do it. Either way, uh, if we're not lagging or anything like that, I guess we'll just carry on watching. Carry on. This video, a man is looking outside his window when he notices something odd. Across from Spider -Man. his apartment, Spider -Man a set is of there. mannequins are lined up in front of a store. Yes, yeah, Spider-Man. As he takes a closer look at one of these mannequins, something oh, yeah, pretty baffling happens. That's just a chest on the way for now. This is what he captured. <laughs> Which one? Oh, yeah, it does look like it's... Yeah. <laughs> It definitely looked like it blinked. That's weird. I think it might be edited, but it... I don't know, though. Dude's reaction was pretty good. Definitely looked like it blinked. And it's obviously not a camera thing, because he saw it as well. Very weird. As if the mannequin itself wasn't creepy enough, this happens. Upon zooming in on its face, the figure suddenly blinks. Unless it's like a little camera. Scene, the man is at a It could be just like a little camera thing. For words, I don't know. As he tries to explain what just happened. It's weird. Like something straight out of a horror movie, the doll comes to life and scares the man to his core. Yet as with most videos, this one remains shrouded in mystery as not much else is known about the clip. Whether the video was simply edited to pull this off is unknown, but it seems that many viewers find this video the first time he's ever acknowledged that. And there's been some very clearly edited ones in the past. So part of me thinks that maybe this one is really fucking edited. Because if he feels the need to say that, then clearly a lot of people have brought it up. ...to be genuine. 
real or not. The thought of seeing a mannequin come to life is terrifying on its own. It is. It is. I'll give you that, though. There's a man on YouTube who's been documenting strange happenings. Called the hooker? He's, he's the hooker? I? Happenings in his house. Almost every video on his channel is solely based on the supposed paranormal occurrences that this man has been experiencing. Then I'm going to argue it's probably fake. If you manage to have a whole YouTube channel dedicated to this, I'd say you're probably faking it. Maybe you had one weird experience once. Caitlin, thank you for the prime, by the way. Uh, but I think you probably had one weird experience once and then just kind of... Oh, no, I just I don't trust that as a concept. Val, thank you for the prime as well. It goes without saying, but some videos are pretty creepy. In one of his uploads, the man captures footage of an unexplainable incident that resulted in his mirror getting cracked. He has no idea as to how the mirror got cracked, but he suspects that the ghost in his house is accountable for this. Now, out of the few okay. videos on his channel, the following may just be the yeah, creepiest. Yeah, wait, let's have a look at... Let, let's see his channel. Hold on. Does he does he link the... Uh, he doesn't. Okay, well, let's, let's go find this guy ourselves, huh? His name... All right, actually, let's not show me looking up the hooker just in case. Oh, okay. So he's made... He's made... Uh... 14 videos over the course of a year. So that isn't insane. And he moved house five days ago. Okay, that, that, right. If he, if he carries on uploading ghost stuff, that's what I'm convinced is weird. Interesting, though. On October anyway. 3rd of 2022, the man is looking outside his window after seeing something outside. What happens moments later has left him unsettled. Okay. Watch. I will. Okay, he looks out the window. Okay, I can see fucking nothing as of right now. He's got his camera pressed to the blinds. Is that water? What? God, this fucking thing is. It's not. Well, I guess it is a window too. God dang, that thing is filthy. I'm not going to say too much, but he opened a window. Like, notoriously, when doors and shit move by themselves, it's when you open windows. Like, I, when it was really windy, my mum used to shout at us if we opened the back door while the front door was open, because it would... No, no, sorry, while the kitchen door was open, because if you opened the back door while the kitchen door was open, it would slam shut, or, or the front door or something. You, you know what I mean? The point I'm trying to make is... Air pressure! If you open a window, shit's gonna slam. I'm not. This thing is, it's not. Well, I guess it is a window too. Can't hang that thing. Is filthy. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, no. Uh, but the window would close the door. Not necessarily. It's just gonna move it. It's just gonna move it with the direction of air travel. You know. If it was slightly ajar and the window opens and the air wants to travel outwards, then it's going to come from the other room and go and push the door open. It depends on the, the sort of direction of air pressure, right? Right? I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think the doors always have to close. I think it just depends on the sort of direction of air travel. Like, so when I said it was the back door, it wasn't. It was the front door. And I know it was the front door because you open the front door and the door would slam and the door opened inwards to the kitchen. So essentially, there was. A, I'll draw it up real quick. Um, let me draw this real quick. So, imagine if you will. Uh, so the uh, the the this is say this is the corridor, and then there's a kitchen on the end. There's obviously more to the house, but let's just do it this way, right? Okay, and then that was very bad. Okay, so we do this, and then there's like a kitchen, and then a corridor, right? Okay, so the front door is like here and it opens outwards, right? So then that's a very bad example, but there's the, there's the front door, right? This is like the door, this thing. And then here, before you go into the kitchen, is another door. This door opens like that, right? So it like opens inwards. If there's lower air pressure out here, so it's like, like, like you know, the, 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 the air pressure is like lower, right? And there's higher air pressure in here. And what's gonna happen is the air is all gonna rush 
so this door's open. You open that door, and all of a sudden, all the air goes, air pressure, and he goes, and like goes out that way. The the direction of air travel essentially causing motion on this door that makes it swing close and slam. Right? Okay. Easy enough. Right? When you go to this video, what happens? He opens a uh, he opens a window in. So let's let's do the same sort of drawing. He opens a window. So let's like, say this is the room with the the window, right? So there's a window here, say for example. Um, that's very bad. And let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, so there's, there's this, and there's like a door here that opens inwards, and it's like slightly ajar. And then you know there's this, right? So this is this is your door. And then there's a room here, and there's also a room here. And this room has like however much air pressure. And this has however much air pressure. But outside has lower air pressure. Say for example, then the direction of air travel when this window say here is open. So let's say a window here that comes open. The air is going to go pushing this door open. Right? You're right, but the timing is weird in the video. No, it isn't. It usually takes a couple of seconds. It, doesn't, it never happens immediately. It's not how, like, pressure works. Pressure, it's like, it, 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 if, if it happened immediately, then it'd be moving at the speed of light. Essentially what happens is the air pressure keeps dropping. So it first drops here as the particles move, and then it drops here, and then it drops here. It, like, steps. So the mo there's a movement. And essentially, it takes a while for it to impact this part of the room. You know what I mean? I think it's... It's not... Well, I guess it is a window, too. Okay, dang, that thing is... I mean, like, that isn't a that isn't a peculiar length of time for a room that large to kind of have, you know. Hello. I'm not necessarily saying I'm correct. Like, I don't know why that happens. I'm assuming it's an air pressure thing. I, I, I you know, I, I have a knowledge of basic physics. That or temperature. It might be temperature instead of air pressure, but the same. You get the same effects, right? Thermodynamics, you know, if it's warmer in here and colder out there, then the warm air goes to travel that way. So, like, you know, same shit. Literally the same thing. Whoa. If it's not air pressure, it's temperature and the same effects had. So I don't think it makes a difference. Oh, Jesus. This glass smells a bit musty. It just came out the, the door open. So it should be fine. But a bit weird. On its own, as though someone had come inside. He looks around, but can't find anyone or anything that might have opened it. Although spooky, it's the following night that leaves him even more spooked. Suspecting that it might happen again, he sits on his bed and records the door around the same time it opened the night before. As he waits patiently, the following happens. <sighs> ouch. What was the ouch? So cutting out bad posture. We can fix that. <laughs> Am I hearing things? Yeah, I think so. I can't hear fuck mm. fucking anything. I didn't hear shit. <sighs> that one was weirder. One. That one was weirder. There's less of an explanation there. Fun. David. It's not fucking funny, guys. Oh my god, that's a loud bathroom. Jesus fuck. Dude. Feeling beyond spooked, the man decides to spend the night somewhere else. He tells a friend about this creepy occurrence and stays the night at his place. However, that same night, something downright strange is captured by the security camera inside the friend's bedroom. Take a look. Oh, wait, wait. So it does happen to him wherever he goes. So the fact that he's moved house recently. Hmm, okay, interesting. It's a kind of insidious meme. It's not the house that's haunted, he is. What? He got a, he got an iPhone text? 
What? A shadow. No, this man got a text on his iPhone. Oh wall. wait, shit. Oh, oh, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. There's actually something that happens. Fuck it. I didn't notice that. Fuck. Wait, th there's more. There's more. My bad. I'm not like ultimately convinced that isn't just like the camera doing something a little bit odd. A shadow-like figure passes quickly against the wall before seemingly diving beneath the bed. It happens real fast, but you can make out the shadow on the wall before it disappears. Now the man mentions that the flashing lights are part of a motion-sensitive device which had gone off after sensing movement in the room. Oh! So it's not his iPhone. Alright. Well, believing that that's actually true and it's genuinely not his iPhone, that's a little bit weirder because it detects motion and then you see motion. It's a little bit weirder. But, I don't know. It seems that whatever this was had triggered the sensor. So then, just what exactly had occurred that night? Viewers be mm. believe that the man had been followed by something, while some think that his friend's house was already haunted. It's unclear what was captured, Second, what? while something occurred that night. Viewers believe that the man had been followed by something, while some think that his friend's house was already haunted. It's unclear what was captured, but most viewers, including the man, believe that whatever this was, was paranormal in nature. Right. Like most videos, there has yet to be an update on this whole situation. Mm. Could be a There's lizard. There's a video on Reddit that many people are finding I mean, hard guess. to explain. The footage itself comes from a security camera installed outside a workplace where the Reddit user's father works. The father had. <laughs> I love when he calls him the Reddit user. It's so good. No clue as to what. Was like it's like he doesn't call them the guy, the person. I, I love it. Like everyone else is just like a person, but Reddit users are Reddit users. It's like it's like they're on a lower tier than people. Was caught on camera, but nevertheless, he was terrified by the footage, as what was captured in it is something that one's mind would conjure up during a nightmare. On October wow. 10th of 2022, the Reddit user's dad is looking at a security camera's live feed. <laughs> Can't, literally will never call him like the person, always calls him the Reddit user. When out of I nowhere, fucking love it. Rainbow, uh, Rainbow, I'm sorry, thank you so much for the tier one. Appreciate it. this. It's this particular detail that's led viewers to believe that something otherworldly had been caught on camera. Yo, Ray Bowser, thank you for the five gifted subs, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what that is. Someone said fairies. Supposed people can perceive videos low resolution. You can still make out something pretty uncanny. Although we can't precisely tell what it is that we're seeing, it's obvious that something isn't yeah, right. Yeah, I'm about gonna this argue this is maybe footage. edited. That's weird. Out of both people, one seems to have an unusual gait. It's as though they're walking on all fours with a slight limp. It's this particular detail that's led viewers to believe that something otherworldly had been caught on camera. It's the Reddit user. Yes, yeah, the average Redditor. <laughs> average user of r slash jet manifold that you should join but today. But as always, what's your stance on this? From the belief that this might be a skinwalker, I mean, or maybe even a cryptid of some sort, the video has yet to be determined as supernatural or not. Odd. It's odd. If you caught something creepy on camera, or I've scary, not. Back to the not. Myth, there's one thing. Oh. Who's that? It's just a little boy, or maybe Gail actually. If um, there's one thing that makes a video twice as creepy, it's children staring at something that can't be seen. But even more unsettling is when something near them. I just be staring at shit sometimes. Them suddenly moves on its own, suggesting that something might actually be there. That's weird. This next video is just as creepy as the one described. Jamie Primex Sullivan is a mother whose daughter, who at the time of this recording was acting very strange, mm -hmm. according to Jamie. Almost every night after tucking her daughter into bed, she would catch her staring off at something in the corner of her room, even though there was clearly nothing there except for darkness. 
Although creeped out by this common occurrence, it's the fall. I do know of many stories of kids doing shit like that, and there has been. I know of like personally some stories of kids doing that, and it was pretty weird. Like you know, it's pretty weird. Following incident that freaks out Jamie the most. Jamie and her daughter Charlie are filming themselves inside their home after going out for dinner. They vlog about their day and eventually start talking about people in their they do a vlog family. However, Rainbows, I thank you for the full gifted subs, man. Appreciate it. When Charlie brings up Jamie's deceased grandmother in the conversation, things take a chilling turn. Watch. But where's your grandma? Where is my grandma? Mm -hmm. Heaven. Okay. Do you Seems remember my grandma? <laughs> Where is my grandma? Where is she? I'm in heaven. What did she do to make her go up in heaven? Did she do a smoker? No, she didn't do a smoker. What? She, she, she was just very old. She was almost 93. And her body just got very tired. She was too old. Okay, this all seems very... This... Oh, leave the kid alone! You know what she means when she says, did she do a smoker? Come on now. Either way... It seems normal. Was she... Um, did you get my almost couldn't walk? She was old. She could walk, but she was old. Okay. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. That, that, that's a little bit weird. The fucking eyes darting to the camera, she says that is fucking. That's a little bit bizarre, actually. The way her Mama eyes. Almost couldn't walk. She was old. She could walk, but she was old. That's fucking bizarre. Okay. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. What? Your grandma's here. And she says, Hi, Jamila. Now, Jamie. That shit. Yeah, that shit's bizarre. That's what I mean by like stories like that freak me the fuck out. Like, they, that's weird, bro. Jamie adds that her grandmother had called her Jamila growing up and that there's no way that her daughter could have known this. Yeah, no, that, 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 it's shit like that. It's shit when like the kids would have no way of knowing that information like whatsoever and they just spit some shit out. And the way I, that's weird. That one's crazy. She was never told about her nickname. Considering Charlie's odd behavior, such as seeing things that aren't there, among other strange incidents, there's no doubting that Jamie was deeply this is so so scripted. Lamau looks. Uh, Mum looks like she was waiting for the kid to say the line. And Maybe I don't know. She looks genuinely quite Just shocked how exactly to me. Did Charlie know of her mom's nickname that was given by her grandma, who's been dead for years? Mum could have told the kid to say it. Like there, there is a, a, a chance. I don't know. I just know of so many stories of kids doing shit like that. that and it Charlie is weird. could have been in contact with the spirit of her deceased great grandmother. Oh, so this is the type of ghost shit I believe in a way. Like, the sort of idea that, like, dead relatives... There's, there's some sort of idea that kids are more susceptible to seeing, like, the paranormal sort of stuff than adults. And, and that uh, makes sense in a way, I suppose. Like, you know, kid brains are different to adult brains and stuff. But the thing that sort of, like... It's when kids regurgitate information that they cannot have known. And I know of personal stories of that happening. And then beyond that... Um, like, does it not make sense? Like, if you died, right, and you're and you're a ghost, if you're a spirit, right, and you you want to communicate with your loved ones, and then you notice, like, you, or you're watching over your loved ones. Say, for example, whatever, you're a fucking spirit, right? You're just chilling about, and then you notice that the kid can communicate with you. You would. You would, and you would say something that the kid wouldn't know in order to, like, prove that you're actually there. I don't know. I just... I just think it's, like, the most logical sort of thing ghosts would do, right? Like, they don't need to move shit about and tap on shit. Why, why, why do you want to scare people? You know. 
But communicate with your loved ones? That makes sense. Others aren't really sure what to make of this. But whether or not people believe her, Jamie is convinced that someone or something had made contact with her child. To this day, she isn't sure how exactly her daughter knew about her nickname. Numero uno. YouTuber Rusty Tucker posted a video of a chilling incident that was caught at a cemetery. Why is he so tall? Posted in 2016, the video is beyond creepy. Legend has it that the Evergreen Cemetery in Jetsonia, Arkansas is haunted by the spirit of a young girl who tragically died there in the 1900s. Mm. The story Bless. goes that the young girl was a mother who was searching for her missing child who unfortunately got lost at the cemetery. Oh. After searching for several nights, the mother was found dead on top of a grave. She was later buried around the spot where she was found. Ever since then, it is said that her ghost still wanders the cemetery searching for her child. Intrigued by the story, Rusty Tucker explores the cemetery at night by using a small drone. Sure enough, what he captures is pretty chilling. This is what the drone captured. Oh, he's using a drone, that's why he's so tall. The drone just like crashes down or some shit. Follow it then. All of a sudden. All right, well, that's what makes me fucking skeptical because you wouldn't go near it. Like, that looked too much like an actual human woman. That just looked like a real human being. Like, I didn't look like, like no shadow, but that was like a lady. And if I saw it, I'd follow it because, you know, like, what's going to happen? Can't die. It's a drone. The figure of what looks to be a woman appears out of nowhere. It hides in the corner as though it's trying its best not to be seen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not even like the person is there in there to be in danger and could like freeze with fear. You'd just be like, oh, what the fuck? I don't know. Seems or whatever silly. this was leaves in a hurry after seemingly noticing the drone. She was pissing. Rusty Tucker believed that happened once near like I was walking home and a lady was just outside of my house squatted in the street and I just kind of stared at her because I was like fuck is this lady doing squatting just near my house and then and then she was like oh i'm sorry i was just locked out my b and b and i needed uh I'm, uh she's like i'm sorry i'm just locked out my b and b and i really need the bathroom i was like oh all good and i thought she was just sat on the ground like waiting to be let into the bb airbnb i don't know if she mentioned she needed to pee either way why would you stare because i didn't this, this, i'm telling the story Right? So I was like looking at her, I was like, what the fuck is she just squatting there for? And she's like, I was like, I'm locked out my B&B. &B. And I was like, oh, my bad. She's like, sorry, I'm just locked out my B&B. &B. I'm, I'm figuring she's squatting on the side of the road, just waiting to get let back in. And then she fucking stands up, fucking trousers and panties still around her ankles, and like proceeds, uh, like right in front of me. And I was like, I I've never felt like I felt so like like pervert because I, I was so innocently just like what's this lady doing and like looking at her and then she spoke to me and then she stood up I was like oh oh my bad like I, I felt I felt so bad I didn't realize she was peeing it was like right out in public so I just didn't figure she was peeing you know I figured she was just waiting and then she stood up like like nude from like the waist down I was like oh and I looked away, and I, I, I was with a friend at the time who had done the exact same thing, by the way. It isn't just me being shit at social cues. He had also stared at the lady being like, what the fuck is she doing? And then, like, done the same. Both of us were like, oh, we feel bad. We both felt very bad because it made us feel like creeps. And, and uh, despite the fact that we both, like, just genuinely were a bit concerned about this lady and what she was doing outside of my home. But yeah that this was mm. the ghost of the young girl who lost her child. Oh, yeah, now, yeah, it's yeah, hard to be sure if that's the case, as it could be that an actual person was hiding there. <laughs> yeah, but given the I reckon so. Place, and the fact that it's a cemetery, most viewers believe that this may have been an apparition. To this day, this video remains a mystery. Mm. Does it now? Thanks for watching. All right, let's go through the ones we watched. Uh, what was number one? Oh, that was the cat lady, French cat lady. Kind of weird. Lots of weird happenings. De nothing too outlandish. Uh, some of it even, I would say, is just normal behavior. 
But that, that bit where, like, the radio goes weird and then the door slams is kind of weird. Next was... Creepy blinking doll. Could be faked, but a bit strange. Next was uh, Draft Man. Uh, and then... A weird Reddit computer. Child talking. And then Lady. All right. Rainbows, I think you're another five gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the subs you just gifted. That really just mean a lot. Either way, um, I'm going to say, I reckon, n number one is by far the shittest, most obviously faked one. Zeva Damien, thank you for the seven months. Uh, shittiest, most obviously faked one by like a, a long shot. Like that one's like, it's just obviously a lady like taking a pee in a graveyard or whatever, right? And then I would say the blinking is the one that has me least convinced. It's weird. But like, I don't know, it's just the fucking mannequin doing a little blink is weird, but I'm not ultimately convinced by it. Next uh, would have to be weird Reddit. Actually, no, I'm, I'm more skeptical of weird Reddit videos. So I'd say number one's the worst, obviously just a lady. I'm kind of skeptical of weird Reddit video. Five months. But equally, no, no, actually, I, no, I'm less skeptical. I'm more skeptical of Blinking Doll. I'm le uh, the reason I'm less skeptical of uh, Reddit videos is because I think if you were a Redditor trying to convince people of a weird video, you'd post the video and not you recording the screen. Like, you edit it, export it, and post it. And go, my dad found this on a security footage look instead of, like, a an iPhone recording. But I still think there's got to be something fake going on because that's just weird. That's too weird. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah, one, uh, one, then five then three and then f draft man because the weird little shadowy figure that moves is a little bit weird and the door moving by itself the second time is a bit weird so i'm gonna say draft man is probably third most then um then we're gonna go for weird cat lady uh because also a little bit odd bless her art cat lady she looks scared and then number one most convincing to me is this kid the whole thing's weird I just want to put she it on again. Old. Okay. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says... Mom. Okay. This is weird. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she says... Hi, Jamila. What? Her reaction's relatively real. Script reading. I don't know. Uh, look. I'm just not sure. I know. I just don't trust the mum at all. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm gullible. But I, I just, from my own experiences, I've got personal bias of knowing similar stories. I uh, don't know. The noise after your grandma's here. Oh, yeah. That, that's added by the fucking compilation YouTuber. Mommy, your grandma's here. And she's... <laughs> okay, yeah. The Vine Thud doesn't help. But obviously, that isn't the original video, you know? Either way, people, people, people. Take care, everyone. Hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.